I mean, we can't even make this stuff up at this point yesterday because I uploaded such a negative video, I suppose. I kind of wanted to reel it in a little bit and make a more positive and light-hearted video today, but then this situation happened and, well, here we are. We found ourselves talking about such a awful situation once again. And unfortunately, this is something that we have found ourselves experiencing before in the past multiple different times, except this time it's more a unique situation because the person that's doing this isn't a Roblox YouTuber. Hey, you know what? Leave a like on this video and subscribe if you have ever watched Flamingo before. So, you know what? Welcome back to another video. I hope you are all having a great day. Basically, like one or two months ago at this point, I uploaded a video called I found the worst Roblox YouTuber. And I know I just said this person isn't a Roblox YouTuber, but what else was I supposed to title that video? Although, as it turns out, today Today's video is going to be about the exact same person. Yes, they have found themselves in some trouble with the Roblox community once again. I don't even have a clue as to how this keeps happening or continues to happen. I couldn't even begin to tell you how this continues to happen, but here we are. And you know, given the nature of the previous video I made about this person, we probably should have seen something like this coming. And yet still, here we are acting all shocked and surprised at how they could have possibly done something like this but basically I opened Twitter yesterday and I saw a tweet from Albert right at the top of my timeline and he said lol gestation the guy who faked his girlfriend's death just yoinked me and polar cup art thumbnail I'm just speechless at this point what else am I supposed to say because this is basically like two problems merging into one and it's just not even these people can't catch a break we have the whole people stealing thumbnails people stealing work from Albert and his thumbnail designer. And then we have the problem of JStation attempting to make his way into the Roblox community. Those two quite prominent and pretty severe problems merging into one to create this lovely masterpiece and it's just not fair. So yes, the worst Roblox YouTuber from that one video I made was actually JStation, but for whatever the reason may be, it seems like he actually ditched the JStation channel and started making horror horror related videos and more specifically some horror related Roblox videos on a completely different channel named 666 and I don't know about you guys but Lucifer is about to be real upset to learn that his number is being used by JStation of all people. I mean first of all he had to deal with the whole JStation being obsessed with summoning his demons situation and now he's trying to steal and use his number. This is not okay. But the Albert tweet he mentioned someone known as Paul Luka are and I believe she is the current person who makes all of the thumbnails for Flamingo and she has been doing so for quite a long time at this point but not only is she out here doing an incredible job with that side of her work and art but she's also one of my favourite UGC creators and besides simply just admiring her art in that way I'm pretty sure I've also bought a few of her accessories as well and definitely I would recommend you do so if you like any of the things that you see on the screen because I don't know what this is worth but take it from me she does an incredible job with each and every single thing that she uploads to the roblox catalog so yeah if it wasn't already super frustrating to see her work get stolen from herself and flamingo by someone like J Station, it especially sucks after seeing just how talented she is and how hard she clearly works i did find the in the replies to albert's original tweet she did say my favorite time of the day is when people steal our work and i mean <laughs> that just smells purely like sarcasm but then I also saw Kaneko Kitten joking about how Albert has finally made it and then Polar Cub Art replied to that with are you proud of us so I mean she seems to be making light or jokes of the situation which is honestly the best and quite possibly the only way to cope right now because this happens far too often I told you these people can't catch a break that it's just becoming laughable at this point but I know truly how annoying annoying this probably is to deal with and especially when it's the fault of someone who probably doesn't even care about the Roblox community and from someone who isn't even in the Roblox community. Literally like maybe 
eight hours after Albert tweeted about Jastish and stealing his thumbnail, we had Polar Cub Art then tweeting again saying, he has the goal to change it to probably someone else's work but keeps part of my work in it as well. And it's just, what is going on? What goes through these people's minds when they are going through the efforts of actually stealing from other people, from other creators? So the thumbnail basically completely changed. I mean, it still has the same shocked YouTuber face in the thumbnail. From before, you could clearly see that it was basically Albert's entire thumbnail just slapped right onto this guy's video. But right now, as it stands, it looks like someone else's work was completely stolen by this person, except that someone else's work was then copy and pasted directly on top of a completely different Albert thumbnail. So it's still Albert's thumbnail, it's just a different Albert's thumbnail. And also with the included bonus, someone else's stolen work merged with someone else's stolen work. So he went from stealing from Albert to now stealing from two people. Pulluck of Art goes on to say, addresses, you coward, get your own images. Also, he used the artistic filter on my part to make it crisper. Like, and then she linked the video and said, can we get this video to 2000 dislikes? A bunch of heart eyes emojis. I love the energy. I mean, you guys know me. I'm not one to encourage negative behavior. I would never tell people to go off and dislike a video. I would never tell people to go off and hit on someone in a video. You know, it would be a real shame if this video did actually reach 2,000 dislikes. Oh, what a shame that would be. I also saw that Creekcraft replied to Pull Look Up Art and said, real talk, I bet he just googled Roblox Ouija board but took the first things he saw. I doubt he's too in touch with the community. And this is exactly what I was thinking. I said this earlier in the video. This guy is not even in the Roblox community. He probably doesn't even care about the Roblox community. I just went to the comments of the video and one of the top comments is, your head looks like an upside down egg. I was trying to see if anybody went from Twitter onto this video to actually comment about how he stole the thumbnail. But yeah, pretty much every single comment I can see in this comment section, whether it's the top comments or whether I scroll and scroll for hours, every single one of them seems to be about how he stole the thumbnail from Albert. So I mean, does this guy have any real supporters or any real fans? I don't even know. I can't even figure that out because the comments have been invaded, but you know, it is what it is. I've seen a lot of different people saying that people should stop sending hits to this guy and stop commenting, stop disliking, purely because if he's getting more attention, he's probably just gonna do it more because of the attention it gets him. But that's probably not why he stole the thumbnail in the first place. Whether or not this gets him attention, if he steals a thumbnail, he's getting a thumbnail out of it. He couldn't care less. And it's like Creekcraft said, he probably has no idea about anything or anyone within the Roblox community. He very likely just Google searched Roblox Ouija board and then Albert's thumbnail appeared and that's when the volcano erupted because obviously this needs addressing. I don't want to see anybody blaming Albert for addressing this because this is a serious problem. You can't just go around stealing the hard work from other creators. And as especially from other creators not even in the same community as you. I don't know, maybe it's a laughable situation, maybe laughing at it is the only thing we can do right now because, I'm, like I said, we have experienced this before, except people stealing from creators before has been from other Roblox YouTubers. It's never happened before with someone like Jstation. I don't know, I'm gonna finish off with a many tune saying, I know this might sound crazy, but hear me out. What if it was the Ouija board itself that hacked it into Station's internal hard drive and stole the thumbnails. Oh my god, he is absolutely right. Thank you Minitune for giving us the final words of this video and also the final piece of wisdom that we needed to solve the puzzle. Now we truly know why Jstation stole from Albert and from Polar Cub Art. Ah. So one more time, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will always appreciate the love and support that you guys give me and you know it helps me out a lot. But let me get sync of literally Jstation of all people in the entire world out here stealing thumbnails of from Flamingo for his horror Roblox videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.